Hey guys, welcome to Technoza. This is Rohit Sharma. In this video, we are going to do some numericals based upon semiconductor diodes. It includes the following topics like PN junction diode, depletion widths, uh, diode current equations, uh, junction capacitance, diffusion capacitance, uh, and uh, transition capacitance, and the uh, varactor diode, and uh, uh, and other things, etc., etc. Okay. And we will do around six to seven questions based upon this uh, numericals, which can come in uh, which can come in any objective exam of is uh, of electronics or whether it is isro or whether it is dmrc or anything okay and uh, second thing is uh, those who have not joined the group uh, telegram group is rota for ec please join it our quiz tournament is going on from 20 since 10th of april to 27th of april so please join and uh, and attempt the quizzes so as to uh, review and so as to revise your concepts okay so let's start the video okay question number one at 300 degree kelvin for a diode current of 1 milliampere a certain germanium diode requires a forward bias voltage of for germanium for germanium forward bias voltage is 0.1435 volt and for silicon it is 0.718 volt okay under the condition stated above the closest approximation of the ratio of the reverse saturation current okay ratio uh, we have to find the ratio of the reverse saturation current of is1 upon is2 that is for silicon and that is for germania upon silicon okay so first of all what is the diode current equation diode current equation is given as id is equal to is or we can say e, i not also e raised to the power vd1 upon eta vt eta is the idealized factor okay minus one eta eta is equal to four equal to eta is equal to one for germanium and uh, eta equal to two for silicon remember this thing okay it is very very important first of all we are finding for germanium and the diode current equation one milliampere for a diode current equation, one milliampere, germanium diode and silicon diode. For both the for both germanium diode and silicon diode, the diode current equation is equal. Therefore, I can write uh, I s that is I naught. I am taking this as I naught. Okay, I naught for silicon is equal to I naught for silicon into e to e to the a raised to the power v d one eta v t minus one, which is equal to I d that is I naught germanium eta e raised to the power vd2 upon eta vt minus 1. Okay, and we have to find the germanium upon silicon ratio I naught ge upon I naught silicon that will be equal to e vd1 upon eta vt minus 1 and e vd2 upon eta vt minus 1 okay now we now we will put the values okay vd1 is 0.718 for silicon okay 0.718 upon eta is 2 for silicon vt is 26 millivolt that is fixed at room temperature that is a thermal voltage minus 1 upon e raised to the power 0.1 4 3 upon 1 is the idealized factor for germanium 26 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 1 on solving this we will get 4 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 this will be the ratio for the reverse saturation current between uh, for the ratio uh, the ratio of reverse saturation current for germanium to silicon Okay, this is how we will uh, these this is how we can attend these types of questions. Okay, now we will understand what is cut-in voltage of diode. Okay, what is cut-in voltage of diode? Cut-in voltage is the minimum forward voltage required so that the minimum forward voltage required so that the forward current flows through the diode okay how much voltage is required across the diode so that the current can flow through it that is the cut in voltage we can also say another name of cut in voltage is offset voltage 
थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज नी वोल्टेज एंड ब्रेक वोल्टेज ओके कट इन वोल्टेज ऑल्सो नोन एज ऑफसेट थ्रेशोल्ड नी वोल्टेज और ब्रेक वोल्टेज फॉर जर्मीनियन डायवोड फॉर जर्मीनियन डायवोड फॉर जर्मीनियम द कट इन वोल्टेज दैट इज वी गामा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फोर जीरो पॉइंट टू वोल्ट एंड फॉर सिलीकॉन वी गामा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट ओके सो फॉर न्यूमेरिकल प्लीज रिमेंबर द कट इन वोल्टेज फॉर जर्मीनियम एज वेल एज फॉर सिलीकॉन बिकॉज दीज आर नॉट गिवन इन द्वेश्चन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ सिलिकॉन एड्रप पी एन जंक्शन एट थ्री हंड्रेड के डेट इज अ टेम्परेचर हैज एक्सेप्टेड डेंसिटी एक्सेप्टेड डेंसिटी डेट इज एन ए इज गिवन एज टेन टू द पावर एटीन पर सेंटीमीटर क्यू एंड सिमिलरली द डोनर डेंसिटी डेस इज एन डी टेन टू द पावर फिफ्टीन पर सेंटीमीटर क्यू इफ द इंट्रेंसिंग कंसेंट्रेशन डेट इज एन आई एन आई इज गिवन एज वन पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टेन टू द पावर टेन This is 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube. We have to find the built-in voltage. Built-in voltage of diode it is given as Vt. That is the thermal voltage. Ln log natural log Ln accepted density into donor density upon intrinsic concentration square. Okay, this is how we find the built-in voltage. And we know that Vt is equal to Kt upon Q. And K is the Boltzmann constant, and K is K value is given as K point one point three eight into ten to the power minus twenty three. On on putting all the values of the data in the in the given equation, V T that is equal to one point three eight into ten to the power minus twenty three into temperature is three hundred degree Kelvin upon Q. Q is the charge of one electron that is one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. 10 to the power minus 19. Natural log of N A is given as 10 to the power 18, and N D is given by 10 to the power 15. Intrinsic concentration is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 whole square. On solving this, we will get 0.75 volt. This is the built-in voltage across the diode. This is how we can calculate these types of equations. Question number four. In the adrep pn junction, the doping concentration of the p side, that is n, the accepted density, is given as nine into ten to the power sixteen per centimeter cube. And similarly, the donor density is equal to one into ten to the power sixteen per centimeter cube, respectively. If the pn junction is reverse biased and the total depletion width, total depletion width, that is w, is equal to three micrometer. This is three micrometer. Okay, three micrometer. Find the depletion width on the w side. We know that the Depletion width on the n type upon the depletion width on the p type. The ratio of this is equal to the accepted density upon donor density. Okay, accepted density is given as nine into ten to the power sixteen upon one into ten to the power sixteen. From here, I can write W n is equal to W p is equal to nine times of W p. Okay, the depletion width of n type is equal to nine times of the depletion width of p type. Okay, p side. Uh, now. We know that the total depletion width is equal to W n plus W p, and we know that W n is equal to nine W p, nine W p plus W p, which is equal to ten W p. Okay, here we have find the depletion width in terms of p side. Okay, that is ten W p, and we know that the total depletion width is ten three uh, micrometer, three micrometer is equal to ten W p. Therefore. The depletion width on P side will be three upon ten micrometer. That is equal to zero point three micrometer. Answer. This is how we can find these type of question. How to calculate the depletion width on the P side? Question number fifth. That is define diffusion capacitance and transition capacitance. Question number fifth: Define diffusion capacitance and transition capacitance. Okay, the if we have to find diffusion the transition capacitance, transition capacitance formula is given by C J is not upon 
bracket 1 plus vr upon v naught to the power m okay where cj naught cj naught is the value of junction value of junction capacitance for zero applied voltage okay he is saying what is the value of the junction capacitance when the applied voltage is zero okay this is given as cj zero where vr vr is given by the externally externally applied bias voltage reverse bias voltage okay externally externally applied reverse bias voltage and v naught is given as the contact potential and m m here is m is equal to 1 upon 2 for step graded junction for step graded junction 1 upon 3 for linear graded junction linear graded junction and 1 upon 3 sorry 1 upon 3 for linear graded junction and 1 upon 2.5 for diffused pn junction okay just we have to remember the formula for transition capacitance and the diffusion capacitance transition capacitance is given as the cj naught upon 1 plus vr by v naught to power m v cj naught is the value of the junction capacitance when applied voltage is zero vr is the externally applied reverse bias voltage v naught is the contact potential and m is vary for step graded junction is 1 by 2 linear graded junction is 1 by 3 and diffused pn junction is 1 upon 2.5 now second is diffusion capacitance that is denoted by cd which is also given by tau upon r okay where r is equal to eta vt eta vt upon i therefore therefore cd is equal to tau i upon eta vt diffusion capacitance is also known as storage capacitance storage capacitance diffusion capacitance always come into consideration when the diode is forward bias and transition capacitance come into consideration when the diode is reverse bias remember this this is the previous previous year question of isro what is transition capacitance related to and diffusion capacitance related to okay here we have uh, find uh, diffusion capacitance is equal to tau upon r where r is equal to eta vt eta vt upon i and diffusion capacitance is equal to eta i upon me eta vt okay therefore i can say diffusion capacitance cd is directly proportional to the current okay if current increases the diffusion capacitance will also increase okay this is how we can find the value of diffusion capacitance and transition capacitance by substitute by substituting the value of the above data where where vt is the thermal voltage eta is the idealized factor for silicon as well as for germanium we have i have already told you in the last question i is the current and tau is the tau is the mean life time of minority carriers okay minority carriers so go to the next question the junction capacitance of a pn junction depends upon okay the junction capacitance of pn junction depends upon the do both doping concentration both the doping concentration as well as as well as the applied voltage applied voltage see how if doping concentration if doping concentration that is d that is d increases then the junction capacitance the width of the junction sorry the width of some junction will decrease width will be decreased width will decrease and if the applied voltage is increased applied voltage increase then the width of the depletion region will increase okay this is how the doping concentration and applied voltage is related to the junction capacitance of a pn junction on increasing the doping junction on increasing the doping concentration 
the width of the depletion uh, width of the depletion region decreases and applying uh, on uh, increasing the applied voltage the the width of the depletion region will increase okay this is the question number 6 and now we come to our last question first zener diode i am only telling you here what is the symbol of zener diode what are its application and why is it used that is in that set i am not telling you any working because working is not uh, necessary here okay what is zener diode zener diode how how zener diode looks like okay this is how zener diode looks like okay this is the anode potential and this is the cathode potential this is how zener diode looks like it it always works in the reverse bias condition okay remember this it always works in the reverse bias condition okay and uh, I, if we have to find the dynamic resistance uh, across the diode across the diode that is given by delta vz that is the zener change in the zener voltage upon me zener current change in zener current this is given as a dynamic resistance of the zener diode okay here in zener diode the in zener diode the doping increases little bit as compared to other diodes now come to tunnel diode tunnel diode we have a question in vssc previous vssc previous year 2009 uh, what is tunnel diode tunnel diode has the highest doping level remember this it has the highest doping levels okay here around its its barrier width its barrier width is approximately equal to 100 armstrong okay this is the barrier width application what are its application it is used as a high speed switch high frequency oscillator switch oscillator theek okay? hai this is how tunnel diode is used now a last type of diode that is the vector diode how vector diode looks like vector diode looks something like this okay i think this is not in your syllabus i have not seen any type of question based upon vector diode okay this uh, this is used this uh, vector diode is used in low noise low noise microwave devices okay remember this this is used in low noise microwave micro wave devices for objective point of view only these things should be remember for objective questions you don't have to remember any working for zener diode tunnel diode or vector diode for the tunnel diode i have seen a, a previous year question that is the highest doping level okay zener diode we can uh, there is the when we when we do the working of voltage regulator then zener diode is used and we have to find the dynamic resistance uh, dynamic zener resistance uh, in that for the voltage regulator there zener diode is used okay uh, otherwise we have not seen any where uh, question based upon zener diode on the working of zener diode okay and this is the, uh, this is only about semiconductor diodes if you have any problem please ask me in the telegram group okay and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel for further updates and uh, if you are also not on the telegram channel please join it as quiz tournament is going on from 10th april to 27th april please join as fast as possible and please revise your concepts okay all the very best milte hain next video mein